final, <clears throat> sorry, final video of the night, final video of the week, until maybe Sunday, I guess, I don't know, again, I'm trying to keep this channel as frequent as possible, you know, I, I, I upload, you know, every day, but I mean, I just don't have the time to upload every day, very busy schedule, very busy guy, but I am, let's talk about week five of the NFL. Um, to close out tonight, to close out Wednesday night before you know, all this stuff happens on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You know, uh, Rams taking on the Seahawks, and it's going to be a very interesting lesson for both these teams. It's going to be uh, interesting to watch both these teams play, you know, different styles of offense for both. Um, uh, it's just going to be very interesting to watch. Can the Rams rebound? Um, can the Seahawks keep their momentum? Um, really, it's going to be about the Rams, I think, um, trying to stay relevant um, and keep, you know, keep their hopes of a division title and stuff like that alive. So they don't look too good right now. Their their defense is not they're not a hundred percent on defense. Jared Goff is not looking like you know the Jared Goff of what we've been seeing the past couple of years now. It's not looking like that. Um, I think. You know, the Seahawks could exploit that. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to tell, you know, where these two teams are playing each other for the first time of the season anyway. Um, Jets-Eagles, not even a bother with that. You know, with the Jets, Jags-Panthers, on the other hand, maybe a little bit. It's very interesting to watch. Uh, of course, you know, Kyle Allen and Gardner Minshew, it would be very interesting to watch that game right there. I think the most interesting, one of the most interesting games uh, of, of the noon slate anyway, which is a lot of games here. You know, we'll get to why that is in a moment. <laughs> um, it's going to be the Vikings-Giants. Um, the Vikings are looking kind of bad right now. They aren't too good on offense. And, of course, you know, the Giants don't really have a defense but they looked good last week against the Redskins. And can Daniel Jones keep it going? Can the momentum, can the legend of Danny Dimes keep going? Um, I think that's going to be the most interesting factor here. Um, is, is Can the magic of Danny Dimes keep going? Uh, Falcons, Texans don't really care. You know, the Falcons and Texans are struggling right now. Both teams are not looking too great. Um, both teams need to improve. Quickly, if they want to go to the playoffs, a Buck Saints. Oh yes, oh yes, very interesting game right here. I think you know Javis Winston. I think he's going to play very well. If if it comes down to it, Jalen. I mean not Jalen. Uh, Jameis Winston is throwing deep balls to Mike Evans and, and, and Deshaun Jackson, all those cats, and, and Christian Kirk. You know. I think it's going to be a very good day for the Bucks offense and Saints. You know, really, Teddy Bridgewater needs to throw a little bit more downfield. He's been a little bit too game managery. Um, you know, Saints defense is very good though. Um, I still think the Saints defense is good enough to where they can, you know, do something to disrupt Jameis Winston right dead, right dead in there. So that's one of the other two that I'll be watching um, at that at that time frame. Uh, Bills Titans, you know, uh, interesting, but also at the same time, nah, not, not really feeling Mariota right now. Uh, Titans are inconsistent. Bills, uh, uh, is, is Josh Allen going to be back or is he still in concussion protocols and stuff like that? You know, concussions are, they they hurt. They really do hurt. Um, so. You know, that'll be an interesting game, but I won't be watching it. Cardinals, Bengals, you could just write it off right now. Don't even care. No. You know, it, it, both these teams have no wins. One of them's going to be getting their first, the other ain't. That's very simple. Who threw the Redskins to the fire? The Patriots might just, Patriots might just end the Redskins right in there. You might as well don't even... I am, can imagine that there's going to be a lot of Pats fans down down there at FedEx Field. Um, Ravens-Steelers. Again, Ra 
Steelers got the first win, but I think it's going to be more of the same. Um, you know, they're facing a better defense than the Bengals right now. So, um, yeah, Bears, Raiders, um, even though, I don't even know why we're even talking about that. Um, Khalil Mack returns, you know, to face his former team, you know, and that's interesting in and of itself right there. But, oh, my goodness. It, may, it, it might be another defensive slugfest. Um, who knows how long Trubisky's out. I forgot to touch on that. Um, I think he hurt his shoulder or something like that. Uh, who knows how long he's out with that. So Broncos, Chargers, um, Packers, Cowboys. These are the only two games at the 3, three o'clock, 3.30 time frames. And it's, it's kind of frustrating, but at the same time, it's not, you know, my eyes will mostly be on the Packers Cowboys game. Got to stop Aaron Rodgers. He's broken our hearts too many times. And I think we need to, we need to do better this week. Packers defense is not the greatest. Um, you know our defense is pretty stout though. So I think you know, this is another tough test for them Cowboys. For them now, the Cowboys, Kellen Moore, gotta gotta beef up the play calling, man. You gotta do better, man. You gotta do better with play calls. Um, you know, you, you got to exploit the Packers' weaknesses right there. And I'm not sure what in the world, Jim, I'm not sure what in the world Tony Romo and Jim Nance are doing down in, in, in um, L.A. I'm not sure why they're there. Not sure at all, but, you know, Broncos are all in four. Um, because the only other game on, it'll be split-screened, of course, you know. Um, didn't, you know, the nightcap – Sunday, Colts, Chiefs, man, oh, man. Interesting game, but I think it could be the Patrick Mahomes show um, as far as that goes. And then finally, the Browns, 49ers. Um, 49ers still undefeated, but they haven't really played anybody. Uh, Browns are very inconsistent. Um, so, you know, it needs to go a little bit better for the Browns. Um, we'll see if they can pull off the upset. It's the 49ers. So, yeah, uh, really, you, um, really, really bad job by the schedule makers. Um, there's only two games. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, everybody's, everybody's involved. This is bad all around. Um, who in the world decided for CBS, hey, let, let's, you know, let's put Jim Nance and Tony Romo in Cali, you know, at the soccer stadium. Who thought that was a good idea? Just, just why? It's gross. Yeah, everybody, that's that's it for week five. It's going to be a very interesting week again. You know, um, we're just we're still kind of feeling where everybody's going. You know, there's lots of teams that are still that don't have any wins. There's still a couple of undefeated teams. You know, there's still a bunch of teams that are just fighting, dog fighting everybody to try and get some positioning and get better and, and, and stay atop their division. So, you know, it is what it is, everybody. So with all that being said, um, that's all I've got for hopefully the entire for the rest of the week. With that being said, everybody, I'll see you all later. Peace.